We are rolling. What's up everyone, my name is Ed Gregory, and you guys remember that company Polaroid, right? You know, the company that made those instant film cameras where you took a photograph and the photographs came out. They sent me one of their brand new cameras. It is called the Polaroid One Step Two, and it's awesome. Okay, so later on, I'm gonna take you on a couple of shoots and I'm gonna show you how I took a load of these photographs. But right now, let's walk through a couple of the features of this camera, because this has all of that retro charm, but in a brand new case. So, first of all, what do you shoot on? Well, you shoot on this eye-type film. You can also shoot on 600-type film. So this is what a full pack looks like. Whatever you do, don't push down on the top, because that will let light onto the film and start exposing it. And to load one of these, it's super easy. You just slide the slider on the front, it opens, you push it in all the way to make sure it clicks like so, and then you close it, and then the top dark slide will actually come out like so, and that means that this is now loaded and ready to go. And I know that because I have eight lights on the top, which are all lit, meaning I have eight exposures left. All I now have to do, line it up, shoot, you're good to go. So let's take a look at some features from this brand new camera. First of all, you got the on off switch, which is right here on the back. Then on the front, you got your shutter release button. That's this little red thing here. So you hold up and you squeeze this front button just here. Now, there's a cool little feature, which is this on the back. I don't know if you can see this, there is another button on the back just here, and that is to turn the flash off. Automatically it's on, and all you have to do, you squeeze that in, and click and it will stop the flash from going off. Now, there is a built-in flash and there is a fixed lens. It's all plastic, but you still get some great shots. And then you've got this cool little slider on the front here. Now, what this allows you to do is to kind of set your exposure compensation. So if you leave it in the middle, it's just gonna do it, it's gonna figure out what it thinks is right. But you also can slide it one way and it will make it brighter, you go to the plus, or you'll slide it the other way, you go to the minus, and you say you wanna make the image darker. In my experience, you wanna leave it smack bang in the middle or go darker, that's usually where it works out the best. <laughs> And you don't want to shake this like a Polaroid picture because this new technology here actually takes 15 minutes to develop and it has to do it in the dark. That's how you're going to get the best results. So what you want to do, you want to throw it inside a book, throw it inside a pocket, something like that, leave it for 15 minutes and let it develop. Now, if you want to take a look at these photos here that I took on my Polaroid, there are loads of them. You can check them all out on the website that is linked below, which is the Photos in Color website. There's so many. So on the back, there's this little button that means that you can turn the flash on and off. If I'm gonna take a landscape, which I'm doing here, I wanna turn the flash off because it's not gonna do anything. Pinch the back, take the photograph, and it's done. With this new model, the One Step 2, it actually takes 15 minutes to develop, but when it comes out, it actually has a dark slide over it. And what you do is you pop that off and then you hide it somewhere dark, like in my back pocket, really quickly, and it's gonna take 15 minutes to develop. We're inside, we're in a studio. We have our beautiful model, Amanda, over here. So this first shot, we're gonna have the flash turned on and we're gonna be smack bang in the middle of the uh, exposure. Also remember, this is a fixed focus lens, so you cannot focus with it. You need to make sure the subject is at least three feet away for it to actually be in focus. So let's take a photograph and see what we get. You line it up, she looks into the camera, and we take the photograph. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, this is a bit of a hack. This is a double exposure. What a double exposure is, is you take a photograph, but it will not release the film. 
and then you take a second exposure and both of those will be on the same film. So when it comes out, you'll actually have two different exposures. And to do this, what you do is you take the photograph and once you've taken it, you hold down the shutter release button and then you turn the camera off and it won't eject the film. The film gets ejected once you release. And then what you do, you turn the camera on and you just take another photograph as normal. So here we go. It's gonna come in here, you're gonna be over to one side, good. Great, and you see, I'm holding this down and now I can turn the camera off and it did not eject it, so that's exposed once. So now you're gonna face this way and I'm gonna have her on the right hand side of the frame and we're gonna do another exposure. I can turn this on and it won't spit it out. And I would just take a photograph as normal. So here we go, second one just here. That there is a double exposure and we'll see how that one comes out. Yo, yo, yo. Guys, we are not done with this video yet, but I want to know what you think the future of film and instant film is. Leave it in the comments below. Is there a future for it? Where do you think it's going to go? Are you guys interested in it? And how would you like to see it develop? That's a pun right there. Anyway, while you're leaving a comment, give me a thumbs up if you want. So this next shot, what we're gonna do is replicate shooting through a window. So we're indoors and this is like a window with the sun on the outside. I'm gonna leave the flash turned on. So I just hit the shutter release and it works as normal. So I'm just gonna take this photograph. So one of the really cool things about Polaroid is that it shoots in square format. And that actually make, means that you have to think differently about your composition. Um, so we're gonna do this really cool shoot here. We're actually right on a street corner, but we've got these beautiful plants and everything. We've still got black and white filming, so we're looking for high contrast. What's important here is the sun is gonna be behind me and the sun is gonna be hitting the model. That's really important with Polaroid. In three, two, one. Great, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip over and start shooting in color. We've got Amanda in the background and we're gonna add some texture again by shooting directly through these plants, seeing if we can get some out of focus in the foreground and get Amanda in focus and framed in the background. For this one, we're gonna turn the flash off because I don't want the flash to really bounce off these plants. So let's see what we get out of this one. So flash off, I push in the button on the back. I think that shot is going to be absolutely beautiful. Great, I love this. So you can see it's always covered here so the light can't hit it with this little tongue. And when you pull it out, that retracts inside to keep your film always protected. Go now, here we go in three, two, one. Guys, if you want to be taking awesome photos like this on Polaroids, then check out the link which is in the description. It'll take you to the Polaroid Originals website. You can pick up this camera or one of their other cameras and all of their awesome 600 and i-type films. Definitely check them out because the, the, this company is really innovating and it's kind of cool. So remember, Polaroid did send me this camera completely for free with loads of film for me to go and test it, but I have to say it is a lot of fun. Not only for amateur hipsters, it's also great for professionals who want to get that quick shot and actually have a memory that was taken and developed right then and there on the spot. It definitely is a keepsake and something that makes better memories than those ones that you make on your phone.